Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out another new old game. This is Asteroids Recharge, this is part of Atari's initiative where they're uh, re-releasing re and remaking uh, a number of their classic arcade games. Um, these are not like ground up, like completely different games, it's really it's the same game you know and love. But it's been given some new things, like in the previous ones I played Black Widow, Centipede, like new power-ups, new scoring mechanics, kind of evolving the gameplay and also changing the graphics. It's kind of got this vector-based, um, kind of incongruous with the original games, but it, it kind of grew on me. I'm, I'm, I think I kind of like it now. At first I wasn't sure, but it, it, it's got a, a look to it. Um, I think for Asteroid, it's kind of nice having like that star field in the background along with the vector-based line art. Um, music's pretty good. Uh, usually they're like remixed or new uh, audio and it's kind of kind of working for me. Um, I'm not a master of Asteroid by any means, but we're going to give this a try. This just came out today, December 14th. I was provided a key by the developer to test it out, so let's see how we do. And I've played a couple of these. I, I played um, Black Widow, which was a game I played a bit of the original, not a lot. Um, but I actually am not too bad at it. And then I played the Centipede uh, Recharge, which maybe my favorite so far. I think there was another one I played, but it's eluding me right now. And of course, uh, I'm playing with the Ape. A controller. This is a uh, PlayStation 4 remote, and the controls are basically um, use the left analog stick to rotate. R2 will let you accelerate. And this is the kind of game that you carry your momentum forward. So, like, I can bounce through to the next screen by doing that. Let's see. Got some. Oh, okay. Slow down enemies. That's cool. One thing I'm noticing is this does support ultra wide. The other um, of these recharged versions I've played did not appear to support ultra wide. So that is pretty interesting. The other ones, I shouldn't say it didn't support it. Um, it basically, it let you turn on ultra wide, but then it had like a vignette going on, which definitely uh, limited um, like the usability or, or the benefit of using ultra wide. Um, so it had like bezels around the side and actually for Black Widow they were kind of cool bezels. It was like spider like cavern. So it kind of worked um, for that type of game. But I'm, I'm kind of liking this with the ultra wide. Ooh, I saw that coming. See, worldwide that got me to 59 it's not too bad not a lot of people I, I think playing these games like um, in Black Widow I think I made it like top hundred like a week after it came out without much effort and I'm I'm not so good at that game but these are fun and they're inexpensive it's like 10 bucks for basically a classic game with with a leaderboard and revamped graphics. Uh, there are cheaper ways to play Asteroid, of course. Um, I've got a Legends Ultimate. Ooh, ooh, laser. And I wasted it. Uh, which is an arcade cabinet. And I've definitely featured it on the channel a fair bit. I've played all of these games on there, and it's really cool to play them on a cabinet uh, in the classic format. Um, but these, these uh, recharged, I'm kind of digging them. Uh, $10 is a little steep. Like the other ones actually, when they came out, had uh, an, initial, an initial discount and it did not appear that uh, that this one does. It's $9.99 right now, which mm, depending on how much you love asteroids, that may, that may be more than uh, you want to pay. Okay, it's like a shotgun. I really want to break top 50. I feel like that shotgun... Okay, so the... Uh, the laser doesn't appear to be doing damage. It's actually... 
uh, like the explosion at the end of the laser. We're gonna do that one more time. But just spending a couple minutes here showing off the gameplay. Um, maybe I'll see if I can load up these games onto my Legends Ultimate with this. Uh, there's a Link app where you can play PC games on it. I feel like playing this on an actual arcade would be pretty awesome. I never really move a lot in Asteroid. I feel like it's actually detrimental because if you pick up speed and maybe I'm maybe I'm my noob here, but I always feel like I end up killing myself. Sure what that one did. Rapid fire. I'm the last starfighter. Shoot. I feel like I can do better than that. But uh, your willingness to pay ten dollars for this probably part of that's gonna be what era you grew up gaming. Um, I was actually uh, a little young for this game. I was born in the mid '80s, and I, well, I played this um, bullet trail. So it leaves like a trail behind it. I take it maybe that trail can hurt the asteroids, break the asteroids up. Uh, but uh. By the time I was, like, gaming, I mostly missed this, though some of them, like, uh, Galaga Galaxy, and I was really into... get a video kind of talking about that, and my dad introduced me to it in a, in a mini-golf course back in, like, 89 or something when I was four or five. But I have a huge love for all these games, though I, I was more of a 90s arcade aficionado. Beat 'em up games, um, the later shoot 'em up games, that sort of thing. Fighting game. I'm not sure if I like this first attack, because it's like I feel like it can let some through because yeah, I get him. See, I'm like trying. I don't like the burst. Give me a different one. I feel like it lets way too much through. Damn it. Okay, that might be the end for me tonight. 2160 is my highest. But it's a fun game! Definitely enjoying it. Um, your options. You can invert, your vibration on and off, vibration strength. You got. Uh, I'm running ultra wide here. You can turn on V sync, FPS caps, screen shake. Yeah, not a lot, not a lot in here. Um, there is co-op though, it is, I'll go back to the main screen, limited to local co-op. Though with Steam's um, Play Anywhere, I think you could still play this online with a buddy, but it's not like built into the game. You'd have to use Steam's um, solution basically. But I'm gonna end it here. This is Atari's uh, Asteroids Recharge just came out December 14th, and you can pick this up for $9.99 on Steam. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night.